So you're going camping, but you also want to bring your kayaks. We're going to explore the best way to do that. Hey everyone, appreciate you watching. My name is Randy. This is Go Midwest Fishing, home of the best lake reviews on the web. Just visit GoMidwestFishing.com and click search now. All right, let's explore our options. I currently have a slide-in truck camper, which I made a homemade rack on top out of some pipe, and that works great. Uh, I have no problem with that one. And then I also bought a pop-up camper where I put a luggage rack on top, and I also put a kayak rack to those, uh, the luggage rack, and that worked great too. But now I own a 15-foot pull-behind RV, so I need to find a way to haul my kayaks on that. So looking at uh, my options, it's basically a vertical rack on the back, uh, haul them on top of the RV, or find a way to haul them in the back of my truck. So really, I just want the simplest, most economical way to do this. And that uh, vertical rack on the back looked really appealing at first. When I started looking into it, uh, a couple things I don't like. One, the bottom of the kayak is literally just inches off the ground. And I'm a little worried that, you know, you go over a rock or something, it's going to take out the tip of your kayak. And also, because they're vertical, I have 12-foot kayaks. So my whole rig right now is about 9 feet tall. And you flip a kayak up like that, hang it off the ground a little bit, and you're talking, I think a kayak's 12 foot 6 inches. So we're talking 13 feet up in the air. So now we've got clearance as an issue. You know, can we get under that bridge or not? <laughs> uh, the lower you can be, the better. So... I've also heard people say that they're not real stable. They flop around quite a bit. They also cost a lot. We're talking four or $500 just for a simple little rack you can buy to do this. Of course, you can always make your own. You're probably going to spend still a couple hundred dollars for all the parts to make your own. So uh, the next step would be to put them on top of the RV. And in this case, to get them up there, you still need a roof rack to put them on, uh, which is... They generally go for you know over $100, uh, around $200 usually. I, I found a used one in my old camper for about $100. Bucks. Uh, then you need to get on top of the camper. So you're going to need a ladder rack. So you need to buy one of those. And then you need to bolt it to uh, your, your RV. So you need to bolt the rack on top. You need to bolt the ladder on the back. So you're putting a lot of holes in your RV. Not sure I want to go that route either. So the cheapest, easiest way I figured how to do this I'm not sure if it's going to work yet. You're going to come along with me and check it out. Uh, right here, I bought a uh, utility rack for the back of my truck. Now, these can get expensive, too. Um, I do have a bed cover on right here. And the ones made to fit around bed covers are like $400, $800. The cheapest one I found was this one here for was like $90, really cheap. The only problem with this one is it's uh, made... On your bed rail here, you're supposed to bolt it down to the top of your bed rail. And it folds over the side, so it's not made for a bed cover like this. But we're going to see if we can't get it to work anyway. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to take off the bed cover to put it on and then try to put the bed cover back on over it. So let's remove that now. I just want to give you a closer look at this uh, truck cover. It has these rails that just clamp on to the inside rail like that. So the bed cover, or the, uh, the utility rack, should go and fold down here. So we're going to have to sandwich them all together in one piece. So that's my thinking. I said I'm not sure if it'll work, but if it does, it'll save me a ton of money. Okay, cover is off. Let's open up the box, see what we got. I've not even opened this up yet. Oh. All right. Looks like a lot of assembly to me. So... That's basically what it should look like when we're done. All right, it looks a little different than what I saw online. I thought it actually hung over the edge of my rail. And it looks like it just sits on top. So you can see it's just the L shape sits on top like that. I thought from the picture it looked like it sat more like this and hung over the, the bed rail where you can clamp it on. So I might have to drill some holes in my bed but got an old truck so it's not a big deal if you have a new truck you probably don't want to do this here's a look at all the hardware that comes with it so basically got the bolt goes down through there the washer and lock washer and then you got the mounting plate that goes underneath the rail and uh, 
Actually, that's about all. I just got to assemble it together. All right, I finally got it put together. All I gotta do is bolt it down now, so it's a matter of just drilling some holes through the top of the bed. Like I said, I thought this actually went over like this, but it doesn't, so uh, my truck's pretty old. You can see I already patched the wheel wells. It had big holes in it, so I put a fender flares and paints appealing, you know. So I don't really care. This may not be the way to go if you have a nice new truck, though. Uh, it is the cheapest way to go and I think it's just high enough right here so it'll, it'll come over the cab a little bit and said so they're 12 feet long got a six foot bed and they can stick a little bit past the back but I don't want so far to hit the RV they can come up over the top of the cab a little bit uh, be an experiment I'll hook up the uh, RV once I'm done and see how it all fits together All right, I got it all finished. It's on, bed cover's back on. Looks pretty good. All right, it's a hot day. It's time to go camping. So I got my kayaks hanging up here in my shed. We're gonna pull them off, throw them on the truck, and then hook up the camper and see how it all uh, hooks together. See if they don't interfere with each other. Hey, there it is. I like to flip them upside down and just tighten them straight down. Seems to work well. Haven't had an issue doing that yet. I do have kayak carriers that I could attach to the rack and then have them on there, but I don't see any need for that yet. All right, let's hook her up to the RV and see how it looks. One of my concerns was when making tight turns, is it going to hit the camper and uh, even hanging off a couple feet there, plenty of clearance between the front, so it's not going to be an issue. So far it looks like it's uh, going to work good. All right, time to take it camping and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, just got back from our camping trip with the kayaks up on the rack here. It did great. Everything worked as expected. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend it's a good system. It cost me. I said it was like 90 bucks, a little over 100 bucks the time I got delivered and everything. And uh, cheapest possible way I could find and very easy to load up there and uh, carries nicely. And it keeps your uh, height limit down so they're not sticking straight up or anything like that. And uh, yeah, they're on there pretty good, like pretty solid. I'll show you how I hooked it up here. So they come with these nice little tie downs on the side and first I just went up and around back to the same one and it kind of pulled it in real tight right here and I was punching into the kayak. So uh, I just went up and over to the next one and then the same for this one, it kind of makes a cross in the middle and then uh, it actually kind of holds them right in the center so they don't wiggle back and forth at all and uh, stay nice and straight. So worked great. And just got all these ends here with the rat straps to tie up. Uh, we didn't go far so I didn't make it look all nice and neat. But uh, there it goes, worked great. So I wasn't planning on making a video on this trip. We were just camping with the kids, just you know, for two nights. Thought it'd be just a quick little camping trip with kayaks and stuff. We found a little pond that was just loaded with fish. We didn't bring any for our fishing gear, didn't bring in my camera equipment. So the kids made some fishing poles out of sticks and uh, paracord, and we made little homemade hooks out of some wire, and they did quite well. We caught, uh, God, they must have caught 20, 30 fish. <laughs> that setup is pretty funny. So uh, I just filmed it on my cell phone, so you can see that video coming up. All right, until then, don't forget to check out goldmidwestfishing.com for the best lake reviews on the web. All right, everyone, 
See you later.